Today's topic is about de novo synthesis of purine, particularly adenine and guanine. So, preliminary step or the step 0, otherwise called a preparatory step, that is starting from the picture that ribosyl 5 phosphate. Ribosyl phosphate, here you can see that phosphate molecule is over, attached over the fifth carbon of the ribose sugar. Further, two phosphate molecules added, and that will making PRPP molecule. So, that is phosphate ribosyl pyrophosphate. Two phosphate will be donated from the ATP molecule here enzyme that is PRPP synthetase is needed now that ATP is donating two phosphate molecule and converted into the AMP and PRPP the preliminary step or the preparatory step for the de novo synthesis of purine further in detail of this de novo synthesis of purine it is also occurring almost all cell this ribose 5-phosphate we can get from this HMP sunt pathway it is also occurring in most of the cell so especially Purine synthesis occurring in the liver. All enzymes of this purine synthesis present in the cytoplasm. A new molecule is synthesized, so it is called a de novo synthesis. Further, what are the molecules needed for this purine formation? They are considered inorganic type, so it is purine molecule is called as a prototrops. Initial starting phase that is ribosyl, ribose 5-phosphate. This de novo synthesis is multi-enzyme complex for the eukaryotic cell while for the prokaryotic individual enzyme activity is seen. In the eukaryotic gene fusion for the some enzymatic reaction is seen and these all enzymes are made up of the single polypeptide chain and that will overall reduce the time for the new purine molecule formation. For one purine ring formation, 6 ATP is needed. Initially we have seen that ribose 5-phosphate to the PRPP formation, 2 ATP is utilized. Further in detail, 4 ATP how it is utilized we will look. Before that, you have to understand that first PRPP is synthesized. Again, that PRPP attached with the glutamine and from that glutamine, nitrogen is donated from that glutamine molecule. So, that is first phase. Second, glycine amino acid is needed for the further ring formation of the purine. Further, one carbon is donated from the folic acid, one carbon group or pool. Further, one more nitrogen that is coming from the glutamine so that is making third nitrogen of the purine ring one more that ring closer so one ring closer will occur after that now carbon dioxide will donate further one more carbon for that purine ring synthesis one more nitrogen is coming from the aspartic acid that is called as a first nitrogen of the purine ring and remaining second carbon that is donated again from this formyl thfa one carbon pool so that is exactly how this ring is formed in detail we will look that but before that you have to understand this different number or so 6 carbon ring that is starting from that nitrogen 1 carbon 2 3 4 5 6 then 5 carbon ring that is 7 8 9 so total 4 nitrogen is present in this purine ring structure so exactly in detail ribose 5 phosphate so it is also coming from this PRPP so PRPP attach with the glutamine and make a first nitrogen for this purine ring formation so that is glutamine is added and it is rate limiting step here formation of molecule that is pra so what are the full form of these different molecule that we will look later on at present just remember that which molecule is added so first ninth nitrogen is added first for that purine synthesis next that is adding of that fourth and fifth carbon and seventh nitrogen that is from the glycine amino acid here that atp is needed so two plus one up to here 3 ATP is utilized and the molecule that is called GAR further methanyl THFA that is adding one more carbon molecule over this ring structure of purine so that is called as a now FGAR that is otherwise you can say that FGAR so that is adding 8 carbon over this purine ring further one nitrogen will be added for that again ATP is needed so that is with the help of glutamine so that will add one more nitrogen molecule over that purine ring structure so later on that one ring will be close and that is ring closer for that also that ATP is needed and it is finally making that AIR amino imidazole ribonucleotide molecule so next reaction will be occur over this ring closer now one more carbon will be added with the help of carbon dioxide molecule and now it will make ACR molecule now further that adding of that aspartate molecule so aspartate will add one more nitrogen over the structure of the purine ring and here nitrogen is added 
again that ATP molecule is needed so here you can see that first that when glycine is added ATP is needed then second that glutamine is added then also ATP is needed ring closer ATP is needed and finally aspartate again that ATP is needed initially PRPP formation 2 ATP is utilized later on 4 ATP total 6 ATP for the one purine ring formation so aspartate is added and making sicar furthermore what are these aspartate from that fumarate is removed from this sicar so that fumarate is removed and make a icar further over this icar molecule formyl thfa that will donate formyl group and lastly it is making ficar till here there is a no ring closure or second ring is not closed once that ring is closed then initially it will make imp that is inosine monophosphate molecule so in detail about this reaction so first prpp that is phosphoribosyl pyrophosphate added with the glutamine so phosphoribosyl amido transferase reaction will occur that is step one so from the glutamine glutamic acid is separated prpp from that pyrophosphate is re removed and making a phosphoribosyl amine molecule that is pra that is phosphoribosyl amine so that is adding ninth nitrogen over that here you can see in the structure that 4, 5th and 7th nitrogen is added over the purine ring with GR synthetase so glycine molecule is added here ATP molecule is utilized so glycinamide ribonucleotide is synthesized that is GAR further one more formyl group will be added but this will be added with the help of THFA tetrahydrofolic acid that is methanyl THFA so that is GAR transformylase reaction is occurring so that will make FAGAR that is formyl glycinamide ribonucleotide here formyl glycinamide here that FAGAR now it is converted into the FAGAM that is formyl glycinamidine ribonucleotide so again that ATP will be utilized this nitrogen is added third nitrogen is added from the glutamine again so that is FAGAR amino transferase enzyme is utilized so up to here you have seen that 1 ATP when glycine is added 1 ATP again when glutamine molecule is added is utilized further that this formyl glycinamidine ribonucleotide will be converted into the amino imidazole ribonucleotide that is short form that is AIR, A -I -R. so again when ring closure ATP will be utilized enzyme that is cyclase and H2O molecule is added now this amino imidazole ribonucleotide will be converted into the ACR with adding of carbon dioxide molecule so enzyme that is air carboxylase enzyme so that will add 6 carbon over that molecule further this ACR now it is converted into the sicar so that is succinyl amino imidazole carboxamide ribonucleotide that is a added with the help of synthetase enzyme so again ATP will be utilized so aspartic acid is adding one more nitrogen that is over the first position of the purine ring structure again ATP is utilized so this ACR now it is converted into the sicar so here again you have seen that 2 ATP when one ring closure is there and second one that is coming when aspartic acid is added so total 4 ATP once that glycine is added second glutamine is added third that is cyclase ring closure and fourth one from the adding of aspartic molecule now when this aspartic acid is added making sicar this aspartic acid from that fumarate will be removed so that is fumaric acid is removed so lyase enzyme is there and now it is converted into the SAICAR that is amino imidazole carboxamide ribonucleotide so the water this aspartic acid is added now from that sicar now it is converted into the icar now again this that over this AICAR transformylase reaction is occurring so adding of the formyl group and that is with the help of tetrahydrofolic acid so now finally it is converted into the ficar so that is formyl amino imidazole carboxamide ribonucleotide that is adding second carbon or last molecule for this purine ring formation now whatever this ring ficar is formed then it will be lastly closed and making a inosine monophosphate molecule so that is ring closure during that time also that one h2o molecule is removed so that is imp synthase enzyme is needed so that is exactly how this inosine monophosphate molecule is synthesized further this imp 
or inosine monophosphate is converted into the AMP that is adenosine monophosphate or the basic purine molecule. So here you can see the difference between the structure of that IMP and AMP. So structural difference regarding double bond in the ring structure as well as amino group over the 6 carbon position. Further this IMP inosine monophosphate with the help of dehydrogenase enzyme will be converted into the XMP that is xanthosine monophosphate. Again that xanthosine monophosphate will be converted into the GMP molecule that is guanosine monophosphate. So simply that inosine monophosphate which is synthesized that will be converted into the AMP and GMP. AMP here now again detail that you have to remember GTP is utilized when AMP is synthesized while when IMP to GMP formation ATP molecule is utilized. So for the AMP formation GTP is needed for GMP formation ATP is needed that you have to remember about this purine molecule formation. So summary basically you can remember that number sequence that is 9457830612. If you remember that number sequence then it will be easy to understand this purine rings formation. So first ninth nitrogen that is coming from the amide nitrogen of the glutamine. Next that is glycine molecule is added. So that is adding fourth fifth carbon and seventh nitrogen all from the glycine. Initial that first ATP is utilized. Second methanyl group methanyl THFA that will add one more carbon. Before that ring closer you have to remember glutamine that is adding one more nitrogen over the purine ring structure again that ATP is needed. Now third ATP so here I have given that zero number for the ring closer so from the zero you can understand ring closer so up to here that is 9457830 so you have to remember that sequence it will make easy to understand this de novo synthesis further after that zero 612 so again first six carbon will be added from the carbon dioxide molecule Again one more nitrogen that is coming from the aspartate molecule, aspartate added, next step fumarate is removed but here when aspartate is added you have to remember ATP molecule is needed. So total 4 ATP, first that glycine, second that glutamine, third one that is ring closer and fourth one for the aspartate, initial 2 for the PRPP synthesis. Now second carbon that is coming from the formyl group, formyl THFA. So sometime it is asked in MCQ which amino acid is needed for the purine ring formation. You have to remember glycine, glutamine, aspartic acid are needed for this particular purine ring formation as well as carbon dioxide and folic acid is also needed for the purine ring formation. So that is all about the your de novo synthesis of purine. So next lecture we will understand about regulation of the purine synthesis.